Hey guys, this is Danny Nguyen Audio here. Welcome to another Pro Tools tutorial video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use fades and be able to uh, manipulate the fades. I think in, uh, in one of my previous videos, I think I showed you how to use fades already, but that was very, uh, that was a, more of a beginner video. This will be, we'll get into a little bit more uh, intermediate or maybe even advanced. So, I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. Uh, make sure that your smart tools are enabled. If they're not already enabled, uh, if you want to enable it, just click on smart tool. Click up here on the top, and you'll be able to enable it. Okay. Go over to the audio and go to the top left. You'll see a little uh, little icon pop up right there. Looks kind of like a fade. And just click, hold, and drag. And you'll see that you'll have a fade. Then go ahead and click on command. F, a phase window will pop up, and just kind of go up really quickly some of the the options you have over here in the slope section. You have the you go you have either equal power or equal gain. Equal power is more for uh, say you have uh, two drum loops and you're trying to fade in from one loop to another, and both of the loops are somewhat kind of different, and you try to fade in and have it fade in smoothly. I think equal power will be better. For equal gain, equal gain is for like, just like similar stuff, like say you try to fade in from a one vocal, like one vocal performance to another vocal performance, then uh, I say equal gain would be better. Also in the in, in shape section over here, we have standard, S curve, and over here you have uh, different, uh, different types of phase that you can pick from. Standard will just basically be a straight line S curve you see that it creates like an S shape type of curve and you know this section over here you can just pick different types of fades that you want to use also in the in the standard mode if you're in standard and, and equal power you have the ability to uh, manipulate the fades by clicking and hold clicking and hold on on the line, on the red line, and just kind of move up and down to manipulate the fade the way you want. Same thing for S curve, you could do the same thing. Kind of move up and down and manipulate the curve that way. On the top left over here, you'll see that you have some buttons. The speaker button right here, just to preview the audio. And you see that you have uh, this right here, this button right here. This button allows you to if you want to like uh, fade from, um, say you have like two tracks, one on top of the other, and you want to fade the top track into the bottom track, then this fade, this uh, this but this option will be better, as you can see on the picture. Also, this button right here allows you to fade in one track from one clip of audio to another clip of audio. So this would be better for that. And also, you have uh, these up and down arrows. The up arrow to make the make the auto bigger and the down arrow to make it smaller this is just for visual purposes just so you can see it better it's not going to uh, make your audio louder or quieter okay so I'm just gonna go ahead pick a standard pick equal gain and just gonna do that kind of a fade click OK and I have the fade. I'll just play for you real quick. Okay. So let me show you something else, okay? Say you want to create like a quick fade from the from the beginning of a track to the end of the track. Or if you want to fade out in fade in from the beginning of the track or you want to fade out from the end of the track. This will be a quick way to do it. Instead of uh, doing like automation, volume automation, you could just do it this way. So just click on um, like where you want the fade to, to end at and go over to edit, click on fades, and click fade to start. And you see that it created a fade from the beginning of the track to wherever I, to the cursor that I left it, to wherever the cursor I, I selected. So. Also, you could do that. 
also another thing you could do is say I click here, my cursor is right here. I go over to, oops, sorry about that. Click over to fades, click fade to end. You'll see that I created a fade for wherever the cursor was to the end of the track. Also another thing you could uh, manipulate the, your fade by making it longer or by making it shorter. Just make sure that the uh, your bracket right here, the, the bracket is pointing in the direction of your fade. So right now it's kind of like in a C shape or like the shape of a letter C. So yeah, you can just do that. Do fades that way. Okay, this is Daniel your audio. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.